Well, folks, the economic situation has finally caught up with me. So, I might be getting my personal phone shut down. So, those who have my phone number, call me now. And we'll do a series of interviews if possible. Um, those who just want to get a hold of me until I shut it off, get a hold of me. Because I'm going to shut some things down. Um, it's tough out there, everybody. It's tough. Um, stressful. Because, you know, you got to make the ends meet the best way you can. Um, hey. Bad things happen to good people all day, every day, every state, every town, every country, every province, on every continent. Um, this financial situation, it looks like a goddamn hero mask on, on it. The black justice. Dun -dun. But now look, um, the situation is serious. I mean, people are running out of money, and for the first time in my adult life, I am run out. And cardinal rule. This is the number one rule you never break. You never tell people how much you got and how much you don't have. That stereotypical, I got all this shit and I got all that, is what put people in this situation. We try our best to live beyond our means. In other words, I want to live like the guy in that big old white house. You know that black guy that lives in the big white house? I want to live like that. I want to live like that rich man up on the hill who looks down in, into the community and nobody ever see him. I want to live good, happy. I want to be just like everybody else, but sometimes you got to cut back. A lot of people ask me, how come I don't get dressed up? I don't buy all them fancy clothes because if you don't need them, why do you want them? the whole purpose of dressing up fancy I'm not I have never been one to try to keep up with the Joneses I'm not going to try to keep up with the Joneses I don't give a damn about what the Joneses got I don't care about what you have I don't need none of that I'm cool with a pair of work boots a pair of jeans and a damn shirt don't even have to be a regular shirt just a t-shirt I'm cool period Um, another thing I want to tell people recession we're in a damn recession what the hell are you going out to McDonald's and Burger King for it's cheap and affordable you're in a recession nothing is affordable hmm time remember back in the day back in time you ever notice a loaf of bread tastes way different now than it used to? And it costs the same. If it takes 29 cents to make a loaf of bread in 1971, no. Put it like this, it's cheaper than that. Why is a loaf of bread $3.80? And in some stores, they've got loaves of bread for 99 cents. gas that's the biggest hook of all period we go through all this big old gas crises gas price going up now nobody took off that nine tenths of a cent we struggling we need to know exactly how much shit cost and when gas was at four dollars and sixty five and nine tenths of a cent Nobody took that nine-tenths of a cent off to help the American people, and they still got it on there. Nine-tenths of a cent per gallon. Good news. I'm not even going to go there, because I don't ever see none or hear none. All right, legality. Okay, now my legal stuff the judge ordered for my driver's license to be returned to me because I can't receive any help from the government without proper ID I don't have proper ID I can't prove who me be now my English so broken they think I'm from another country come here to take over 
come here to run for president. <laughs> so listen, the judge ordered my identification be returned to me. I had to set up a meeting, go in there, talk to these people, and get my ID back. They looked at the paperwork I got from the courts. They wrote my phone number in the corner, and they said, we will talk to you later about this. In California, it is against the law, against the law, for an adult, and I don't know if the children now, to be on the streets without identification. Period, man. It's against the law. Now, during the middle of this process and my arrest and all that crap, they gave me this piece of paper. This paper here is a temporary driver's license. You ready for the punchline, baby? Wind it up. Here it go. This is not legal. This is not a legal document. This is unacceptable at the Social Security Administration building. This driver's license I've told to use and keep with me at all times is not legal. But it was given to me by an officer of the law and told, I was told, if you get stopped by anybody or you need identification, present this and this will act as, as, as if you're, as, this is the shit, this is your ID, this is your driver's license, this piece of paper is everything you need to succeed to continue until we return your stuff. It's not legal. Pulled it out four times, tried to use it. Not legal. Next episode, TV. Now, apparently this dude that play on one of these TV shows, uh, House, the little Indian dude, he's going to quit the TV show to join the Obama administration. You know the same dude from Harold and Kumar? Real news. We got drama all over the place. Period. Um, I hope the Alonzo show today was a good one. I haven't done a Alonzo show in a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and make this the Alonzo show 09. But, like I said, it's tough times out there. I'm going to shut my phone off to save some money. That's sad. Now they got the uh, coach molesting a kid on a soccer team. I, I'm tired of this. Sorry. Missed the whole story. Look. Good news, listen. Say there have been at least 215 car break-ins so far this year, and thieves are targeting items such as iPods, laptops, and GPS devices. Police say they have arrested a handful of suspects, some of them seasoned thieves, others were just taking advantage of the opportunity. Officers are cautioning drivers to keep valuables out of sight and to avoid parking on streets near wooded areas like Fulton Street along Golden Gate and also some areas that are rather vulnerable where people... Okay, let me, let me jump and, and say something real quick. I got like 15 seconds. Animosity. People can't have shit. I don't care how cheap it is or whatever. Somebody want what you got, somebody gonna steal it. And that is the pitiful part about humanity. Ain't none of this crap on the planet Earth worth hurting somebody or stealing something from. Why steal something from somebody else when it don't mean nothing to nobody? You can get it, it comes and goes. How many iPods and how many laptops can people throw away in a year? Finding logic in this, pass it on.